Hey guys, Rob Twitter, Bad Poncho Outdoors. Um, like many of you guys, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not a thousand, I'm barely a hundred air. Um, so essentially what we're gonna be doing today is getting our small plot of land ready to hunt next deer season. Uh, I'm not gonna do it in any expensive way. I'm not gonna use big tillers, I'm not gonna use anything like that. I'm gonna use kind of what I have laying around the house. So I've got a bag of throw and grow that ran me about 20 bucks. A garden rake that ran me again about, about 20 bucks for a good one. Um, and a beat up mower. Works just well with a weed eater or scissors <laughs> if you have to. Um, but what I'm gonna be doing is this brushy crap, we'll call it behind me, I'm gonna get that stuff ready for deer season. Uh, I'm gonna mow it down, I'm gonna trim it, I'm going to clean it out, get it ready for this throw and grow. Uh, so essentially what we're doing is picking a high traffic area for deer, and we're gonna make them try and stay in these one uh, localized spot so that we can get a better shot out of either that tree or that tree depending on what needs to happen. So let's get started, guys. All right, guys, what you just saw me do is make a path from my main uh, walking path going to my food plot with another path going back to a cornfield. Um, so essentially what we're going to have around us is corn, alfalfa, and the back, and then pretty much a grass pasture um, right next door. So I need to do something different. Uh, so I picked up my throw and grow, it is the radish blend, um, it is the extreme blend. So we're going to clear this now with a garden rake, get it ready for planting. Let's get started, guys. So the big thing I want to do here is I want to work from the center out. Uh, so I work from the, uh, the outside in, I'm just going to move grass kind of where I don't need it. So essentially, all I'm gonna be doing, hitting it with the rake, moving from the inside out. As I'm doing this, it's gonna tilt the land a little bit. Getting it nice and ready for that throw and grow to plant. So it is important to note too, as you're doing this, you're not gonna get every little bit of grass that was here. That's why I started with the highest level on my mower and I moved all the way down to about two inches. Um, this spot's a little hilly and a little bumpy, so it scalped it here and there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because I kicked up a little bit of dirt and dust and helped me do this step. All right, guys, the plot is raked. Let's throw some throwing grow on it. Let's sit for a little bit, let the sun and uh, rain fall down. We'll check back in a week. <laughs> 